What the hell is that? Water everywhere. Okay. Back to van life, eh? <laughs> oh yes. We've been on the road for a whole two hours now. <laughs> and we got the next set of tools out to fix the next I problem. Fix, I still haven't fixed that problem. The so first problem. No. First this problem, is more important. Definitely. Water is always number one priority to fix. <laughs> this is just a small leak. But I think we'll be alright now. This is what happens, I think, if you're out of a van for so long. Like this odd things that... Anyway, I need to sort a few things out quickly. I just want to see why. I can figure out why can I turn this guy in here. I need the 14. Bigger tools. That's always the 14, solution. 14. We're Andre and Lisa, a South African-Italian couple who have been traveling together for almost 20 years to more than 40 countries. We've been full-time nomads since 2018. And over the past two years, we have been exploring Europe with Millie, our motorhome. Please subscribe to join our adventure. I don't know about Christmas, but it sure as hell feels like winter, autumn. We're not used to uh, Look at Christmas these and winter. Eh? Beautiful colors, I know, it's crazy. It's gorgeous. Nowhere else we need to be, just you and me. We can lose this love, so hold on to what we know we have. Hold on to moments that we've shared Hold on if all we have is just each other Everything will be fine Just hold on Buongiorno, no, buonasera. Buonasera and welcome back. We are back on the road with Millie. We are finished with our house sit slash farm sit. First order of the day is we are making our way to Foggia to try and sell our old toilet. Because if you don't know, we made some changes to the van, which yeah. we can't tell you if we're happy with yet or not. Well, keep an eye on an upcoming video. We will show you the whole process and also give our impression after the fact. But on the way to Foggia, we took a most beautiful scenic drive through the forest, the mm. National Park of Gargano. And if you haven't seen that, it is absolutely stunning, especially this time of the year in autumn. And we've just stopped over at this lovely little place, San Giovanni Rotondo. No, just a convenience stop. I know nothing about the place, I'm sorry, but we we knew there would be a few growing pains getting back in the van after a few weeks, so it was just nice to sort of gather your thoughts and test everything properly. Okay, let's quickly have a look at this church, and then we gotta get back, because the sun's about to set, and we're gonna get up early and drive to Foggia. Go see. It's not something you see every day. This nativity scene comes with two dogs. Do you think he knows? Hello, fatty. There's only one problem with the scene. I think Jesus was got stolen. <laughs> Jesus is not here yet. Oh, but not yet. That's yet. the kind of donkey we could look after. Hmm, there's a good collection here. Yeah? There's a cow, there's a donkey, there's some sheep. <laughs> Well, good morning! First morning back in the van. And it's been rather chilly. Whew! Three degrees outside this morning, which is colder than our fridge. Right, stop here. Honey, why does nobody want to poop this morning? <laughs> <laughs> hey, speak to yourself. <laughs> you want to break in that brand new spanking new, new throne there behind you. <laughs> Very, very funny. You're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, to paper, scissors so for you uses the toilet the first this no, morning. No, normally, you play it to see who empties it, which I know normally does it, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be my turn to be doing the emptying now. I'm not so sure about this. You, you, you. It's more complicated than you think. You claim to uh, be going to take care of the, the emptying, but I'm not, I'm not convinced. We'll see how this goes. Well, we still have the old toilet in the garage, so you know. 
Yeah, after two days, this I might just say, nah. I want my cassette back. I don't think so. It is so cold that I am shivering. I just realized now that I can't hold this camera straight. It's Seriously. Still three, it's still 30 degrees outside. It's a heat off because we're running out of power. We don't <laughs> I'm sorry to say, we have to switch the heat Colder off. outside than inside the fridge. Brrrr. Hi guys, we think the road, but I'm very excited. We actually ordered a new gadget and we're getting it today or tomorrow because this is a massive problem all of a sudden. You see this situation here? This is all condensation. We're gonna hit the road, we're gonna get to Foggia. ASAP, it's quite early actually. Trying to make most of the day. We're trying, gonna try and get rid of our old cassette toilet, which we pulled out, is filling our garage. But we got a bit of distance, and from there we're gonna push on to Monopoly. Let's go. Ready? Let's go, let's go, let's see if anyone wants our toilet. All right, first gonna clean this chaos. See, this is a disaster. Back to van life. Oh man, look at this. Oh boy. Slash. I, I thought it was like a dealership, but it looks more like a storage facility. I know you can park here too. And we are hoping to get rid of our chemical cassette toilet here. We can try. We have a toilet in the box, but nobody wants it. <laughs> nobody wants it. They only want the cassette because everybody wants a second cassette or something happens to your oh. cassette. You want to replace the cassette. Yeah, the good news is it's we got our garage back. The bad news is we didn't get as much as we hoped for. But, you know. Hopefully he's going to be able to do something with it, get something mm. for it. It's better than putting it next to the side of the road where mm. it just contributes to garbage. Exactly. So hopefully somebody will get some use of it and we got a little bit of money in our pockets. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's just a tank of fuel. Okay, we're going to add some water here. And we're going to hit the road towards Monopoly. Maybe stop somewhere for a quick breakfast. Whoa, we're going to go through them. Oh, what the heck? Not exactly the most scenic parking in the world, but it'll do. The truth is that the sun sets soon. We actually want to be as close as possible to the Monopoly Center as we can to explore. Yeah, you can see Look the cathedral the over there. Mm. Right here, just That's over cool. the marina here. I don't know if you guys can see just there. And there's actually much nicer parking about a kilometer that way, past the harbor. Maybe we'll go spend tomorrow night mm. there, but... We want to walk from here, leave the van here, and I think it's better. Because it's and a Christmas we... market, and there's a house of Santa Claus that we're going to go visit. So excited. It's all Christmassy! Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas! All right, now what? We have got some packages to collect at some point somewhere. Yes. Here, so. I was thinking maybe we could take a walk now to go and collect the packages. Yeah, let's do that. And maybe come back by the Christmas market. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, the music is a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, the music is not Christmassy. There's a tree. The tree? But other than that, it's a lot less than I expected. I'm not sure, but oh, okay, there's some people. Obviously, there's not a lot of snow in um, Puglia, so this is the closest they're gonna get to s skiing, eh? What do you call it? <laughs> Ice skating. Ice skating, okay, wait. I gotta show this quickly. See this. The best skater in. Um, well, he's better than me. Oh, there's rides! <laughs> I'm not exactly getting a Christmas vibe here, yeah, but this sort of a craft market thing, maybe tomorrow all the things will pick up quite a bit. Can I get a Christmas jumper? Should I get a Christmas jumper? Mm, if you fit into that one, you can go. How's it sound? When we go to the this UK for Christmas, we'll there you go. 
I'm, he sorry. told me I'm a bit too old. He said, only from one year to 14 years. You're too old. Oh, you well, can squeeze you in, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here it is. This is the Christmas stuff. Buy some beds. Oh, it's like Santa's workshop, I guess, eh? He's like, who is this guy? You know? <laughs> uh, this doesn't happen very often, but he's just got a chance to sit on an Italian Santa's lap. <laughs> Morning back to Monopoly. Monopoly? I don't know, Monopoly! So we decided we're not gonna stick around, but we thought we'd pop out for a few hours just to see the place in the daylight a little bit. And it's morning and the sun's out, it's actually super nice. I actually feel like I'm overdressed a little bit, so this is surprising. It's amazing, the sun is out, it's a beautiful day. We're gonna walk all the way around the coast here. Yeah? Well, not the coast, just around the outskirts of the town here. Yeah? The coast! It's the coast! Okay, the coast. We're gonna just uh, walk around the castle walls and uh, spend a few hours here and then we'll move along. We can see what... So, first impressions is that um, you know, we, were in, we were out last night and although it's Christmassy, uh, it doesn't feel very really touristic actually. No, not at all. And the markets and things, there's some activities more for the kids mm. maybe, but for the adults it's not really like you see in Northern Europe Christmas markets. Yeah, okay, let's go. I don't know if the castle is always open, but there is a free art exhibition and of course you get to see the castle which is quite nice. Very nice. Okay, we're going to take a quick stroll around this wall and then go through the village, maybe grab a to nibble on. Sounds good. Time's running out.
Okay, that's Monopoly. Are we recording? No. Yes. Can yes. you see the sun? No, wait, I'm casting a no, shadow on your face. No, I got no, a kid on the wall. No, you're casting a shadow on your face. Okay, I'm checking out the kids on the wall. Maybe we should get out the kids' way. Papa! Oh, Papa and Mom. <laughs> oh, cute. Okay, that's uh, Monopoly and uh, lead up to Monopoly. I, was, I think um, Monopoly is probably a bit underrated. I think so. The thing is, with even some of the. You switch the camera on and noises start. But okay, just quickly to wrap this up. Now, it feels like Monopoly is slightly less touristy. Okay, in all fairness, it is. What is it, two days before Christmas? It's December. I mean, this is definitely not the high tourist season. No. But when the sun shines like this, it's still beautiful, beautiful days. And it's amazing to walk around these places with almost nobody around. The weather isn't bad. Uh, it didn't even get that cold last night. But I must say, I don't I don't feel like this is the ideal location for a motorhome destination. We really struggle to find um, a, a parking where there's no limitations or where there's a risk of being fined. It just feels a bit odd, which is a pity. You just don't feel welcome as a motorhome. Mm. Anyway, but I do recommend visiting Monopoly. We are signing off this video, guys. We're heading from here to... Well, actually, this video will be slightly out of sequence, the next video. But we'll catch you guys next time in Italy. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, share with your friends. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> thanks for watching. Ciao.